Hey guys, hey, so I just want to tell you about a really cool experience I had today. I got uh, to be sworn in in front of the Supreme Court of the United States the building. So I got sworn into the bar um, to be able to theoretically practice in front of the Supreme Court, which I will probably never do, but it gives some other privileges and it's just a really neat experience. We got to go hear oral arguments in some um, really landmark cases, which was unexpected in that uh, we weren't you know, when you when you sign up to do this, you don't know what's going to be heard, and they were two cases on um, gender identity and discrimination before the law. So you might have even heard about some of these cases. One of the cases was whether um, you know whether uh, sex as a protected class in the constitutional uh, under Title IX, um, whether uh, sexual orientation is is um, falls into the protected class of of sex and gender um you know the part of the argument being you can't one one side argument being you can't have uh discrimination against sexual orientation without a gender they're they're they work together um the counter argument is that you know the congress has not made a uh, has not legislated about that and they can and they and if it's every time they've tried it's failed and they haven't been able to to bring forth legislation so it's not the Supreme Court's um, duty to draft that legislation or, or to, uh, to create legislation by through the judicial process. It's the job of Congress. Um, since when Title VII was drafted in the 1960s, the gender identity wasn't even a question. All every state, nearly every state, had criminal laws against um, uh, same-sex relations. And so they never were, at the, at the time, um, thinking about that issue, uh, so the law shouldn't cover that. So, anyways, it's a complicated um, situation, but that's the that's generally the the uh, the argument. The other one was, you know, it was a transgender um, question of whether you are, um, you know, if you change your identity, well, essentially whether you can change your identity and whether that new identity affords you protection under the law. So they, they really had a lot of questions about bathroom usage. So could an employer, for instance, if you, um, if you change your identity, your, your, your gender identity, and identify if you're male and you want to identify as a female, um, and you go to use the female restrooms and your employer doesn't allow you to, is that discrimination? So these are two landmark cases that haven't been decided. It was oral arguments. It was really interesting to be in the courtroom with the justices, hear this, and uh, uh, be there for the process. Uh, we don't have a, a ruling on that yet, but um, we eventually will. So anyway, this is out in front of the Supreme Court. There were a lot of people here protesting earlier. It's, cal it's calmed down, but um, it was uh, a really big day and um, really interesting to be a part of this. So just wanted to give you an update on, on you know, I'm uh, uh, that, that out, <laughs> out here um, listening to some of this and it's uh, a, a lot of this stuff is really relevant to what's happening today and current events. Um, anyway, there's an update.